Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. I'm back like I promised with a report from the weekend. I won't say that it's just a report from the craft show because that wouldn't take up much time. <laughs> so it's going to be like the whole weekend report. Friday morning, I left to drive down to my daughter's house. It's about a three and a half hour drive. Before I left, I sent a message in the group family chat to all three girls saying, I'm going to be on the road for the next three and a half, four hours. If you send me a message, I won't get it. But if you send me a text, my, my car will read it to me. So maybe 45 minutes, an hour down the road, I get this text. Don't recognize the number because it doesn't do caller ID on the car screen. It just says, you have a text from 716, blah, 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 blah. So I hit the button, read to me. It was from my oldest daughter. And she said, this is your car speaking. I want a car wash and a cup of hot espresso gasoline. I laughed so hard. Just so I need to send a text back. I still haven't done it saying, I'm sorry. I, I did send one back at the next rest stop saying, we'll see how well you behave. If you behave, maybe I will meet your demands. Well, I need to send one back saying, sorry, car. Since you did not provide me with nice, cool temperatures in the car, you don't get your car wash. My AC wasn't working. And the last leg of the trip, it was like 85 degrees. And oh, it was so hot in the car. And I was just like, <laughs> I can't take the heat. So, okay. Got down there. Played with the grandchildren a bit. The two who were home. One was napping. 18-month-old was napping. The one who turned three in January was up, was spending a lot of time with her. The seven and a half year old was at school. Okay. Seven and a half year old gets home and I went over to set up for my show. Um, managed to get a parking space right by the door. Carry the stuff in. I was right at the front. Very quick unloading. Um, that's what my table ended up looking like. Went to Walmart afterwards and got a text from my daughter when I was checking out at Walmart, like, dinner's ready. Where are you? Well, I got back to her house. We had dinner. I, I walked in and I said, I had to stop at Walmart and get a crochet hook because I forgot to take a crochet hook. I had my bag, my nice little purple bag, all packed. And I didn't put the little collection of crochet hooks in. So I had yarn and I had scissors and I had stitch markers and needles and patterns, but no hooks. So I went to Walmart and I picked up a hokey little size F hook. Yeah. Baits or boil or you know, just a little metal hook. And I'm like, okay, I have to see if I can get some silicone beads or something to put on here to make it ergonomic because it hurts my hand. Um, got home, had dinner, came walking in with, Grammy brought fruit. I bought strawberries and blueberries and the grandkids love fruit. Okay. And then we went to watch the middle granddaughter at her first soccer practice. And I was doing so much walking between setting up and walking around the soccer field while watching her play, I hit 10,000 steps for the first time in ages. Yay! Boy, was I tired. But I did get a little bit of crafting done that evening, and I made a possum. This is from the Yarns and Nobles pattern, and I don't know if I miscounted the body just seems so short. So the next day at the show, I made another one and I added a little bit to the body to make it longer. So I made a couple of possums. Then um, the next day, okay, showtime. 
Show started at 9. I was there at about 8.30, 8.20, to make sure everything was all set up. I'm putting my finished items in order here so I can pop them up when needed. Okay, and that goes back there. That's. Um, I didn't get my first sale until 9.40, like 40 minutes into the show. Traffic was very light at this show. And I think there was a reason. The township that the show is in passed a new ordinance this year saying that anyone selling stuff outside in their township needs to have a vendor permit. You have to apply for the vendor permit, get a background check, and pay a $50 fee for that one-time use permit. You don't have to do the background check again, but $50 fee for a one-time show. So all the people who were going to be outside had to get moved inside. They had to cancel the food trucks, the Amish donuts, and the kettle corn guy. Because, okay, you're going to have to pay twice as much to be here. And they're like, nope, nope. And you have to fill out all this paperwork. And, you know, you have to go to the local township and fill it out in person because you don't have time to mail it in. Nope. So we didn't have the draw of these outside vendors. Like before, if you were within two miles of the show, you would smell the kettle corn cooking and, you know, it would draw you in. Nope, not this time. So the good news is, okay, the bad news is the first sale didn't come till 940. The good news is it was the $38 sale. She bought three items. She bought my last two duck mushrooms and one of my hedgehogs. I'll have to see if I have a picture of it. Um, then I waited an hour and 20 minutes for my next sale, which was another hedgehog to an adorable little girl named Ruthie. And talking with the mom, it turns out that Ruthie will be going to the same soccer class that my granddaughter Sophie goes to. So I was, you know, Sophie, there's going to be a new girl on Monday, on Friday when you go again. And her name is Ruthie. And she looks sort of like you. And, you know, trying to get her perked up because she didn't really like the first week of soccer practice. So you're going to have a new friend. Go, go meet your new friend. Go look for Ruthie. So hopefully this Friday's practice goes better for her. I did start another project. I started a little purple turtle. I made the flippers and part of the shell while I was there. And I think the head. And then I finished up the shell. This is a no-sew turtle that I will have to link in the comments because I forgot who it's from. But I think that the, the paint yarn that I took along with me turned out quite pretty with the purple. And I've just about used up that purple yarn. Okay, back there, turtle. Um, then, at C, 12.09, so an hour and 10 minutes later, somebody came along and grabbed the reversible penguin that I made as part of my April goals. I don't think I ever got a picture of it. So it would appear in my April videos, but I don't think I have a picture. It was a pattern by Not Monster, and it was an egg, and then you flip it inside out, and it was a penguin. And the lady goes, oh, I thought it was a hand puppet. I'm like, you can use it for whatever you want to. But that sold. And then 45 minutes after that, I sold one of my chickens. One that came with the emotional support chicken bag. And she asked if I could do a package deal for the chicken with the bag and a nest and a couple of eggs. So, okay, I did. So all in all, my grand total of sales, $80. And the table was 40 You know, the good news is I made my table fee. The woman next to me selling Scentsy, 
She didn't. There were a number of the lady across from me selling earrings. She didn't. So I did well in that I paid for my table. Um, but all of the vendors were saying, this show is dead. This is, uh, it's just not what it usually is. Probably because you didn't have the food trucks outside. So thanks a lot to the township for messing things up for us. I'm not mentioning the township. So then that night, my granddaughter was looking through the book of patterns that I took. And she goes, Grammy, can you make a cow? Sure, I'll make a cow. I have purple and white yarn with me. So I made a cow. I think that's low so cow by cruel time all of the patterns i made i have the patterns in the same notebook so all i have to do is have that notebook with me when i'm editing and then that night i started a purple penguin and boy his his eyes look off there i didn't realize his eyes are not centered i must have got my stitch counts off because each of the white parts should be over like one more stitch It's, a, it's an imperfect purple penguin, and someone will love him and buy him. And then, last night, when I got home, I probably have another story for you about the ride home or something. Oh, yes, I do. I do. Okay. I started on one of my May goals, which is to make five mushroom frogs. So, ribbit, ribbit. There's the first one finished him up this morning. I, I did, I mixed yarns. This is a very lightweight red. It's probably a DK weight. And this is a heavier worsted. So it doesn't fold over as neatly as it could. So it's an imperfect little popping frog. Let's see my notes. Was there something else I was gonna say? Driving back, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> let's have a sip of my caramel macchiato. Because you know, as soon as you start talking, you get something in your throat and then you have to cough. It's Murphy's Law. If you're making a video, you're going to have to cough. Um, coming back home, it's like a three and a half hour drive. And once I get, it's like 220 something miles. When I go about 40 miles, there's a rest stop. And then at about the 90 mile point, there's a rest stop. And then 40 miles from home, there's usually a rest stop. But New York State is redoing that whole service area. So there's no rest stop there. You can stop and get gas, but there's no food. There's no restrooms. So I'm like 113 mile stretch of the trip. There's no restrooms. So I got off two exits shy of my usual exit and maybe half a mile from that exit. There's the savers. There's, there's the mall that has Hobby Lobby, Joanne, Hobby Lobby over here, Joanne's and Michael's over across the street, Savers, you know, there, there's all this stuff around there. But I went into Savers. I checked their yarn racks. Nothing was on the half price color. And I did have a 20% off coupon, but there was nothing that really called to me. Checked their books. They had a few knitting books, but nothing that really called to me. Okay. I went out, used their restroom, left, and um, got home earlier than planned. Then today I had a doctor's appointment, and the doctor's office is on a busy four-lane highway. Joanna, it's on transit. Um, and when I go there, it's a right-hand turn to get in. No problem. But coming out, I would have to make a left-hand turn onto a four-lane road. Didn't want to do that. But if I go right, 
and go up like a mile and a half, two miles. There's a goodwill up there. So you know, went up, went to the goodwill, and then it was a right-hand turn to come out of goodwill and head home. So I went to goodwill this morning too. Nope. Nothing. Actually, there wasn't any yarn. The only yarn there was cotton crochet thread. That didn't tempt me. So I have gone to two thrift stores, thrift stores in two days and didn't buy anything. So patting myself on the back. Um, that's it. That was my, that my weekend. There are plenty of other cute grandchildren's stories, but I'll save them for another day. That's what I finished. That's my me show. It was my worst show so far this year. I have another show a week from this Saturday, so two weeks after the last one, which is only a few miles away in our little town. The local library is doing a book sale, and they're going to have vendors there for the book sale. Um, I'm not having high expectations about that, so we shall see. Okay, I'm going to go play with yarn. Bye-bye.